All right. So the review for uh, sections one through three. So we're going to determine whether these are statements and if they are, whether they're compound. So go to bed. Not a statement. Okay. It's a command. All right. Mary likes flowers. That is a statement, but it is not compound. Five plus six equals seven. That is a statement, not compound. If I go shopping, then I will spend money. That is a statement, and it is compound. I could go left. I could go right. That is a statement, and it is compound. Write a negation, okay? Not, okay? It's the opposite. So Rebecca enjoys auto racing. You simply add does not enjoy auto racing. Okay, 2x is greater than 7. Remember, this is a little tricky. We still say the 2x, we still say 7. Opposite direction, but it should be opposite direction and equal. So 2x is less than or equal to 7, because this is saying greater. Okay, so that means the opposite would be, be including the number 7 or less. I don't like vegetables. I do like vegetables. Okay, that'd be like saying I don't not like vegetables, so I like them. Y equals 5. No, it doesn't. Y does not equal 5. All right, so we know that P is she smells bad and Q is she lives in a sewer. So this is not P, okay? So she smells bad, that'd be not. So she does not smell bad. This is an or, or, and then we just say Q. She lives in a sewer. Okay, 11, P. She lives, she smells bad. We just write it as we see it. This is and, not Q. She does not live in a sewer. All right, let P represent a false statement and Q represent truth. Okay, so P is false and Q is true. So we say not P, which is true, or not R, oh, sorry, R is also true, okay? So if you want to take the time here to write not true, you can. If you want to change that right or way to false, that's fine. And I'm sorry, P is a false statement. So I'm messing up all over the place. So P is false, okay, and then Q and R are true. So now, false or false, which means not false, which means true, okay? Let's see if I can get this right this time. So P is a false statement, and not Q, I'm going to do it the quick way now, Q is a true statement, so not Q would be false. And I did that thing where I made and an A. Okay, false and false. And R, which is true. So false and false is false and true. I did it again with the A. False and true is false. All right, lots going on here. Not in parentheses, P is false and not Q, 
So Q is true, so we can put false right here, or we can take the extra step. It's up to you. Or, not R. R is true, so not R is false. Or, P, which is false. A lot of falses. So we have not, false and false is false. False or false is also false. Not false is true or false. And as long as we have one of them, we're true. All right. All right. Let's say math is fun is P. And Q, logic is cool. All right. Convert to symbols. Math is not fun. Well, math is fun is P, so that's not P. And logic is cool. It is not the case, that's a big old negative, that math is fun or logic is not cool. And we didn't have this in the notes, uh, but not a big deal because I'm going to take out more of the problems later. But if then, we use an arrow. So if logic is cool, then math is fun. And that's all we're going to do. So down here, in fact, you can go ahead and cross off 23 and 22. We're not doing this. We did not do this in the notes. So we're not worrying about if-thens. So we're only going to do 21 and 24. Okay? So I'm going to do some tiny writing here because there's not a lot of space. Uh, but first off, we put true, true, false, false, and then true, false, true, false. So we always start off with true, true, and end with false, false. Okay, now we're going to take each one step by step, slowly. So we have P, which is true, or not Q and P. So true and true. All right. So that's going to lead us to true or not true, which is true or false, which is true overall. You might want to do this on another piece of paper. That's fine. Okay. In fact, I think I'm going to do that just to make it easier for you to read. So, on the second one, we start off with a T and an F, right? All right. We have true or not. And remember, we're doing Q and P. So, pay attention to that. It's Q and P. So, Q... In this case, it's false, and P, which is true, All right? So that gives us true or not, false and true, okay? Remember, and, so that makes that false. So that's true or true, which ends up being true. Now we're doing false true, okay? So that's false or, remember, this is going to be not, parentheses, T and F, because remember it's Q then P this time. So that's false or not, true and false. Again, that's going to be false. The only way to get true out of that is two trues. And that leads us to false or not false is true. And that leads us back to true. And last would be FF. Okay. So that gives us false or not. And this is easy because they're both F. False and false. So that's false or not 
false, which is false or true, which again brings us back to true. Okay. On to 24, again, true, true, false, 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 true, false, true. I'll do this on another page. All right, so first off, we are starting with true, true. All right, and what we have is, I'm just gonna change it right away. So first thing is not P, so not true is false, and Q, which is true. Or not Q, which I'm just gonna change right away to false. So false and true is false or false, which leads us to false. I'll come back and transfer later. So not bouncing back and forth. So now we have TF. Okay. So not P, I'm just gonna change right now, is false. And Q, which is false, or not Q. And that means not false, which is true. I'm just changing right there. False and false is false, or true leads to true. Now we have false true. So again, parentheses, we say not P, so not false is true, and Q, or not Q, not true, which is false. T and T is finally, we have a truth here or false, as long as we have one true, we're good to go. And last but not least, we have false, false. So we take not P, which is true, and Q, which is false, or not Q, which is true. This becomes false or true, and again, that leads to true. So we have false, true, true, true. All right, now we're writing statements based on the drawings, okay? So we have, remember, this is an and, straight line, straight line is and, the box is or. So we simply write P and, P and, and then the parentheses, not P or Q. That's it. Now we have an or, but remember, up here we have an and, and down here we have an and. So we write P and P, or not P and, oops, I did an actual ampersand here, Q. That's it. Now we're going the opposite ways. And again, I'm not going to rate you on this. So we have an or. No, my bad. We have an and. Sorry. We have an and. We have an or. And we have an and. Okay. So straight line, box, straight line. So basically what we have is a box. This is on the top. This is on the bottom. So we need two of these. Okay. We put P here. We put Q here. On the bottom, we have P, we have P. That's it. 27, we have a straight line. We have our P. We have an and. So, that's our straight line. Then we have a box. And this is our top, that's our bottom. So, P or Q. And that's it for the review.